Although there's some positive message coming from government officials about jobs in the economy, the unemployment numbers and our previous guests tell a much different story. So when can we expect the country to reopen? We're joined by President Trump's economic advisor, Larry Kudlow. Larry, thanks for being here. Thank you, Sean. Appreciate it. So I know the big question that everyone asks is, when is the economy opening again? And I'll let you get to that in a second. The first thing I want to ask you is, are you seeing or are you concerned about supply chain issues? Meaning that because so many businesses and sectors have closed down, that certain areas of the economy are not, in certain industries, are not able to sustain themselves and get goods to market that people are needing. Well, actually, I mean, I know that's an issue, and I know there are uh, areas uh, where there are some glitches, but on the whole, I think the supply chain system has worked up pretty well. I, I know there was a, a few weeks ago, as the pandemic began to really intensify, there was a lot of talk about food on the shelves and grocery stores and pharmacies, but a lot of that turned out to be quite temporary. I'm not saying it's perfect in every case, but we don't see it as a major issue. And regarding health supplies, I mean, we're developing some, but we worked very hard to keep supply chains up for key medical equipment, for example, and I think we've done pretty well. And, you know, sometimes we even had to do our own supply chains with, uh, with um, you know, floating hospitals on gigantic uh, Navy medical ships. So I, I think uh, it's out there, but no, I don't think that's the biggest issue. Well, let me give you an example. I know somebody who's in the middle of a remodeling project at their house, and they were trying to put the countertops in, but the countertops can't go in until the cabinets are in, and the cabinet makers are saying, we're not producing any more cabinets while this is going on. So you now create a situation where one industry kind of stops, and the next guy can't do their job, and therefore it puts them out. So when we talk about opening up the economy, are you looking at a date certain? And I know that there's times that, or plans out there that people have floated that talk about different region or is it by sector or industry or what is the current thinking about opening up the economy when and how well of course it's going to be data driven uh, you know our health experts are constantly updating it we uh, I'm gonna to have to leave soon I, I've got a, another uh, task force meeting but it will be data driven and as a glimmer of hope uh, some of the important series on uh, infection rates for example and mortality rates uh, seem to be flattening and perhaps hooking down. We'll wait and see. I'm saying that's a glimmer of hope. Uh, we haven't, the president has not set aside a specific date. Um, I know that certainly in the next four to eight weeks, we have high hopes of reopening. Uh, it may be on a rolling basis, Sean. It won't perhaps be all at once. We have to worry about geography here. Uh, certain hot spots are going to take longer to heal. Uh, than other places. And of course, there's going to be rules of the road uh, regarding best practices uh, to protect ourselves in, in terms of mitigation, uh, tests, temperatures, um, social distancing, all that uh, are things that we are presently now discussing internally. But our great hope is if the numbers continue to improve, and you know, I, I say it as much as a prayer of anything, but the data are improving, then I know the president is very anxious to get the economy open. He said that at his press conference uh, last evening. He'd like to return to normalcy. We all want to, I think all of America wants to return to normalcy. So we will get there as fast as possible, but we must keep us Americans healthy and safe and secure and then we'll get the big red economic machine moving again. I'm, 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 I'm a very optimistic guy. Once we restart this thing, it's going to roar. You know, Larry, obviously that is the big question, when, but we just spoke to two workers who are in the service industry, and they wanted to ask, you know, more specifically, do you have a plan for the service industry? You know, a lot of them have families, and they're wanting to know, do you have a specific plan that you can tell them, or anything specifically you could speak to that industry? Uh, for which industry? Uh, did you mention uh, the industry? service? The service industry. Well, look again. Um, the specific plan will revolve around the virus and whether the mitigation policies continue to work. As I said before, as it appears to be uh, moving towards uh, a flattening out. 
that's that's the thing that's holding everything up and you know that's obviously public enemy number one and over time we've got to crush the virus and reopen the whole industry look we will be looking at uh, and have already begun as i said to sean internally uh, we are looking at uh, all sections of the country we're looking at industries we're looking at timing we're going to be asking let me make this important point you know president trump uh, has done what no one else has done before. This has been a public-private partnership. This is not just some government top-down operation. Our whole assistance plan has been geared as much as possible through the private. We ask the advice of CEOs of companies large, medium, and small, and we put them to work, and they have been fabulous, I might add, whether it's retailers, uh, or truckers or bankers uh, or biotech companies. Uh, they've been terrific and we will be asking their advice on a continuing basis uh, how to get the country open in the fastest, most expeditious way and get the economy moving again. Larry, I got two quick ones for you uh, before you run. Number one, uh, there are a lot of small business owners that we're hearing from and workers that are saying that they've applied for unemployment insurance. They've put the, the loan program in, but the banks aren't responding. The unemployment office isn't getting back to them. What are, is government doing to try to help alleviate that backlog? It seems like there was so much of these uh, systems were overwhelmed. And second, I know that you just expressed this optimism. The president's expressed this optimism that when the virus is done, people are going to go back. But a new poll out today says that people are very hesitant about reengaging in large groups, going back and staying in a hotel, getting on an airplane, et cetera, et cetera. So first, what are we doing to help people in the short term? And second, how are we going to make sure that people are feeling comfortable going back and engaging in the economy? Uh, well, OK. Um, on the first one, Sean, the checks are running pretty fast. I mean, it may not be perfect, but for example, uh, Secretary Scalia in the Labor Department has reported that the plus up in unemployment benefits uh, has now moving through the system this week and will be distributed through the states. We got that done faster than anybody thought. Secretary Mnuchin has said uh, the economic impact assistance, which essentially are direct checks, that's moving faster than anybody thought possible. And I, I think those checks will be, if not going out the end of this week, the beginning of next week. So we've moved uh, pretty darn fast. I just want to read you in terms of the um, small business numbers, uh, what are we, a week, a week from the beginning or slightly more? Uh, just about 500,000 loans, 500,000 loans, $128 billion committed by nearly 4,000 banks. Those are extraordinary numbers uh, for something that we had to build uh, almost overnight. So I, I think that's absolutely getting done, and it, it may not be perfect, Lord knows, but uh, I, I think it's, it's working through the system. We are doing everything we can to help folks. As I said, 175 million Americans will receive assistance to get through this awful, difficult hardship uh, that we find ourselves in. And we are determined, by the way, just on the loans, to come back to that point. Uh, every small business that wants a loan, we are determined to get them a loan. We have requested another $250 billion, as you know. The Federal Reserve today outlined uh, its new Main Street lending Larry, facility. Larry, I know you got to go. That's additional backup for small and medium businesses. Larry, so I know I, you got to go. Thank you. It's working for pretty well as the government and the private sector. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate your insight into this. Good luck with everything. Thanks for everything that you're doing there.